All right, we're finding parametric equations for a circle with the center at, at uh, 1, negative 4, and a radius of 3. So um, kind of work your way backward um, on an equation. You know um, that um, circles I want to say centered at the origin. A circle centered at the origin would look like this. x equals cosine t and y equals sine t, where t is between um, 0 and 2 pi. That would give you a circle, because remember, your unit circle, the x coordinate is your cosine and the y coordinate is your sine. So this would give you, plotting this would give you um, a circle of, of radius 1, right? Mm -hmm. And it would be, so when t equals 0, you would be here, and then you would be going to the right, or you'd be going counterclockwise. So, okay, so that's your basic circle, parametric equation circle, okay? We don't want that. We want it to be centered at negative or at 1 negative 4 so what we have to do is change x instead of being x it's going to be x minus 1 and it's going to be y plus 4 that's the first thing the second thing is we don't want the radius to be 1 we want the radius to be 3 mm -hmm. so we write 3 in front of the cosine sine and 3 in front of the sine also And then the final thing is we want it to go clockwise, not counterclockwise. So we need to make the t negative. And making that t negative instead of positive. So plugging and thinking, thinking this through when I plug in, let's like make our little t-chart here. Um, when t Actually, it's going to be a 3 chart. When t equals 0, I'm going to, I'm going to get um, x. Um, I need a bigger t chart so you can see my work here. When t equals 0, x, which is cosine, uh, oh, I'm sorry x, which is um, essentially 3 cosine negative t plus 1, plugging in 0. Cosine of 0 is 1, mm -hmm. so that's going to be 4. Is that, is that right? Well, is yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it's going to be four. That's it's going to be four. Mm -hmm. Zero. Wait, the cosine. That's just because it shifted over. Right, and if I want to plug in y, y is going to be essentially three sine of negative t minus four, mm -hmm. and that's just going to be negative. Sine is zero. That's negative four. Is that the right point? Let's see where that point is. Remember, my graph is centered at one negative four. Mm -hmm. So the first point I put in, yeah, it will be oh, there. That makes sense. Yep, it'll be right there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be at four negative four. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, when I plug in, let's say pi over six because that's where it's telling me to go. I'm mm -hmm. plugging in pi over 6. It's actually going to make it negative pi over 6. When I plug it in there, it's going to, because I made this t negative, it's going to make it a negative pi over 6. Mm -hmm. So the cosine of negative pi over 6, it's going to give me that point down here instead of the point up here. So it's creating my circle to go clockwise instead of counterclockwise, which a positive t would have done, because that's what the... That's what it normally runs at. 
So again, to think through what what this um, what we're doing here, um, we're taking uh, the key was to was to remember that like think of your unit circle. Your unit circle is essentially a parametric. You can think of it as a parametric because the y is equal to the, or the x is equal to the cosine of your angle and the y is equal to the sine of your angle. And so that's a parametric equation essentially is what your unit circle is. And we're modifying the unit circle.